Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with the thousands of true school sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, as I'm shooting this video, happy Friday to you guys. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. What I wanted to talk about in this video is uh, a signing the Los Angeles Lakers made, and uh, was really kind of a blast from the past. Uh, he fought, he followed the NBA for a number of years. You probably haven't seen this name in the NBA in, quite, in a couple of years, a couple of seasons, and uh, it was being reported by Mark Stein of ESPN. Um, that the Lakers have signed a one-year deal worth eight million dollars with Yi Jin Lian. Now you guys might remember Li Jin Lian. He came into the league, I believe it was around uh, 2009, and he was a rookie with the Bucks. He had a lot of hype coming into the league. Um, many people people call him, you know, a hybrid of like Yao Ming and with guard skills. And uh, he had a lot, he had his little hype train coming into the league, but uh, couldn't really live up to any of that hype. Um, struggled to find himself. I think the best year he probably had was when he played on that really bad Nets team. It was 2010. He averaged 12 points per game. Uh, shot 36.6% from the field, uh, from the three-point line, I should say, and provided some good uh, floor spacing for them. Now he hasn't really proven that he could provide um, any shooting um, consistently outside of that year. But he's 28 right now. He'll, he'll be 20, 29 during the NBA season. So. You know, if, when you look at this landscape of the Lakers depth chart right now, the two power power forwards they do carry are Julius Randle and Larry Nance. Now you figure those guys are going to get a lot of minutes, but this is this is just um, a move that will ensure that they have depth behind these guys. And, and listen, the NBA has changed a lot since when Yee first came into the league. Um, so maybe you know they they they, they use Met Center to try to space the floor, and maybe they they try to you know. Bank on some of those skills he does have, which is he can shoot the ball just a little bit uh, at his size. You know, with him being roughly, he's pushing pretty much. He is seven feet tall, so a guy who's seven feet tall uh, can shoot a little bit. I think you know it. It, it could work for the Lakers, and um, this 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 is an interesting move. To me, I'd say what the most interesting thing about the Yi Jin Lian signing is uh, the fact that. And yes, he, it's eight million dollar contract, but only one million of that is guaranteed, and the rest is incentive based. So he's gonna have to play and, and play very well to earn the rest of that money. So, um, you know, very interesting contract in that in that regard. I think if you look at his numbers, the last years he was in the, league, in the league with the Mavericks and the Wizards, you know, you're gonna see that they're they're down dramatically. Um, and that's probably because he had to play uh, center a lot more. He played more center those two years than any any other time of his career um, if you look at when he did have that one uh, successful year individually speaking it is when he averaged 12 points and shot 36% from the three-point line uh, he played 80% of his minutes as a power forward so I think that would be the move for him if he's gonna succeed uh, they're either gonna have to when they do you know find they, they, they gotta find somewhere for him so maybe they go small and they put him as the four which would really not be going small because he's seven feet tall but what I'm saying is they could use him as a, as a way to extend the defense because he does have a somewhat of a three-point shot. Uh, I don't know if it's improved over the last couple years because he has been out of the league since 2012. So maybe while he was out of the league, he's improved that shot. And, uh, you know, t they say 20, you're, from ages 27 to 30 is usually a guy's prime year. So maybe they're getting the Eugene Leanne in his prime. And we do get to see just a little bit of that, of that, of that guy who was hyped up coming into the league. But um, interesting move for the Lakers, I think, you know, I'll be, I'm interested to see uh, how he fits up to the team and if he can really uh, find himself in the NBA. Because I feel like, you know, when it stops in Milwaukee, New Jersey, Dallas, uh, Washington, he was a uh, he's a skilled player. He can he can play, but just didn't have could, didn't have an identity, didn't have a, a defined role, didn't have didn't really know who he was in the NBA. So maybe he can find himself with Lakers and and be a, an asset to a team that definitely needs uh, some assets, some uh, so some guys who can play. So. Uh, that's the news. Li Jin Lian is coming back to the NBA from China. Signs a one-year deal worth eight million dollars. Only one million of a guarantee. The rest be incentive-based. Let me know what you guys think. How will Yi uh, play this year in the NBA? How do you think he's going to contribute to this Lakers team? And does he even get any minutes? With being that he's a power forward behind uh, Julius Randle and Larry Nance Jr. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.